What's up everyone, I'm Kat, and I'm excited to welcome you to our tutorial series for setting up your contact center. In our previous video, we introduced you to the amazing Allaware platform. Today, in this tutorial, I'm joined by Jeff, who will guide you through the ins and outs of all your account settings. Let's dive in. Hi, my name is Jeff, and I'm gonna be showing you a little bit about your account settings today in this video. So first of all, to access your account settings, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're logged into Allaware inside the admin interface. So once you're here, we're gonna go over here to the left-hand side of the screen, and we're gonna come all the way down to account settings. So once we have our account settings open, this is where you're gonna access the vast majority of uh, account settings that can be configured, tweaked, and adjusted within your Allaware account to create a custom tailor-made experience for you as a personal user or for your company as a whole. So I'm gonna kind of walk you through some of these options right here. Um, the first we have up here on the very top left is general settings, anything ranging from adjusting the name of the account to your time zone, to private lines and texting settings right here. Then we have compliance. So this is gonna be involving your A2P 10 DLC registration, which can be done inside of your account um, and it's very important to get this done as soon as you possibly can if you do end up purchasing Allaware. Then we have our transcription settings. So this is having to do with our uh, voice to text transcription feature. And there are a couple different things we can tweak and adjust right here, such as the minimum talk time for transcription. We have our contact settings. So this is gonna be adjusting things that have to do with contacts, ranging from visibility to who the uh, recipients of particular leads might be. We have our calling settings, um, dealing with things like wrapping up phone calls after they end, uh, whether or not as an administrator you want to force your reps to wrap up the phone call. Um, you can do that right here with enable force wrap up. And then we also have inbound call recordings if you want to adjust that right there. We also have inbox settings and then power dialer settings. And for those that don't know, our power dialer is a feature designed specifically for a very efficient and effective high volume outbound dialing. So if you want the ability to take a list of contacts, queue them up into the power dialer, um, all you have to do is click start and that will allow you to very efficiently and very effectively go from one call to the next to the next in rapid succession. And then we have our reporting settings right here and reporting can be seen in a couple different locations. The first of which is the dashboard and then also this section over here under reports. So uh, reporting kind of falls into the category of KPIs, metrics, analytics, that kind of thing to track performance uh, for individual users and for different regroups and the team as a whole. Then we have our contact dispositions. So our dispositions are broken up into two categories. We have contact and call dispositions. So contact dispositions are more so dealing with what is the current status or disposition of a contact what is your relationship with them? Are they a cold lead? Are they a warm lead? Um, are they somebody that's maybe a particular stage in, your, in your stage in your pipeline? And then we also have call dispositions, which is more so indicating what took place on an individual, particular individual call. Did the call connect? Did it go to voicemail? Um, did it ring through to an incorrect number? That kind of thing. So it's very important to distinguish and differentiate the, the two options, contact and call dispositions. And then we also have a menu for lead sources right here. We also have a menu for usage. So this is gonna give you a very good 10,000 foot overhead view of how you uh, as an individual user or as an entire team are utilizing the software. So you can see what's included in your plan. Um, things like how many users do you have? Um, how many individual phone numbers have you used? Uh, a variety of different metrics, including information about your bill and how it can accumulate over time. And you can break that down into a certain period of time if you want to specify a range to look at your bill. And then we also have info about international pricing. So from here, we can break this down into call rates and SMS rates. And so you can basically just click this drop down menu right here, and this is gonna show you a variety of different countries. And then if you select a given country, then it's gonna show you individual call rates and individual text rates down below. We also have a setting menu for imports. So if you want to import uh, a CSV Excel spreadsheet file into the system to uh, in include a bunch of contacts into the system, that can be done right here. Same thing goes for exports, but in this case, we're going to be taking data. In this case, more than likely, it would be a list of contacts, and we're going to be exporting them from Allaware outside of the platform. 
And then we also have call scripts. So if you want the ability to read off of a script or a call flow while you're on a phone call, those scripts can be created right here. SMS templates. So if you want the ability to pre-create a template before uh, ahead of time, then you can create those templates right here and that can make it very easy to fire out a quick text after a phone call ends without the need to actually sit down and type out that text each time you want to send a text. URL shortener, this can be done right here. So if you want to take a long kind of convoluted URL and shrink it down into a much smaller bit of text, you can do that right here as well. Then we have custom contact fields as well. So things beyond the norm, such as the contact name, first name, last name, email, the company they're with, so on and so forth. If you want to create some custom contact fields that are more so in line with your industry, that are a little bit more niche than you would typically find uh, in a solution like this, then you can create your own custom contact fields right here. And then we also have calendar services right here. And that wraps up all the options. So again, to get here, what we did is we logged into Allegor. We wanted to make sure that we're inside of our admin interface. And then we came all the way down here to the bottom left to our account settings. Thank you.